this is the tutorial on how I made this short shifter. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I'm internalizing a really complicated situation, Mahi. I don't think you should make this. Why not, cuz? Cause you'll make it bad. It'll be sketch. Oh nah bro. It'll be fine. Right, so to start this beautiful baby, what you have to do is you get some steel. And then you have to sand it. Make it look nice. Like this. And this is gonna be cut out and gonna be the holding for the actual pivot for the gear stick. So what I'm gonna do is gonna cut it. Zoom. Together, two of them. Who's gonna hold the actual gear stick part? Need a bit. That little bit there is gonna be the width of the the gear stick mechanism thing. I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna weld these bad boys. Oof, that's a nice weld. Gotta make it look pretty now, haven't I? Oh, dude, I'm gonna drill a hole in the back of this. So I'm gonna slot in a bit of steel, that ram bar there. Now I'm cutting the big housing bit, and what I've done is I've drilled a hole so the slot fits perfectly in it. Ooh. Ooh. And then that bit goes in there. Except I weld that to that bar, as I'm doing now. What I'll do is I'll make it nice in a wee bit, but it fits perfectly at the moment. You want that greased up and looking good. I'm drilling a hole in the back of this so that I can hold that bit in without it falling out when I'm shifting into the third or second. I'm tapping the screw so when I put it in, it will come out. That is a little guiding hole for the spring, which I now I'm making. It's an old spring, straight out. Got myself lots of lovely burns from doing this. I'd suggest cutting it shorter, but you know. I made it a little bit longer so I could cut it to shape afterwards, and then I came around with that, which was not too bad, not too bad at all. This is me polishing up the thing so it looks a little bit nicer. Now I'm punching the hole. Oh, that was a fast drilling. Now I've got to make it look nice. And I've got to harden and temper it afterwards. Otherwise it will be a useless spring. This is gonna be the actual gear stick, because why not? You didn't get that, I meant cut it. <laughs> oh, I'm such so, this is so satisfying how nice this weld was. This one, this one. So satisfying. This definitely, definitely was not an old gas can. It's not. Mm -mm. This is gonna be the housing that holds it onto the car. Should be, should be good. 
I'm just gonna bend it to shape. I remember you got to make two of these. I made one and then I was like, yes, that was it done. And then I got that disappointing feeling when you had to make another one. This was really tedious. I had to cut it out. I had to be really careful. I made a few mistakes. But afterwards I heated it up and then punched my little logo, which is a unicorn, on the middle bits to make it, you know, give it that little unique uniqueness if it wasn't unique enough already. Now I'm welding these supports onto the housing. And this is drilling the hole for the gear stick. Components that you've made. This is the housing, this is the gear stick, and this is the housing the that goes into the housing with the spring that it makes it go back to center. Um, got a bolt here, got another wee bolt here. Um, and so all you have to do together to put it together is shove that in there. And easy as. Shoot the right way around. Because I want to hold it like that. Because we're in Scotland and we drive on the correct side of the road. Which is the left hand side for you guys. Just put the bolt in there. Bob's your uncle. And that is your very own short shifting. Short shifter, I guess. And if you gave this a go and you managed it, well, then you're definitely smart enough to install it. So, good luck to you guys and uh, thanks for watching my video. Bye.